Many leaders of past protests have lamented the fact that the proposed nationwide August 1st protest lacks an identifiable leader. They fear that the absence of a unifying leader and structure makes it vulnerable to infiltration by bad actors and saboteurs. The leader of the trade union has joined those expressing concerns by distancing himself from the protest, while still showing solidarity with citizens' rights to protest lawfully and peacefully. Senator Shehu Sani echoed this sentiment. Additionally, Peter Obi has publicly distanced himself from the proposed protest, and Aisha Yasufu has covertly done the same. Today, nobody has reached out to us uh, that they want to protest. Nobody has asked for our collaboration. We don't even know those that want to protest. Uh, so, uh, how do you expect us to participate in a protest that we don't even know who is organizing it? We don't even have any idea whatsoever what it what, what is going to happen. Uh, so, as an institution, you also know too that we have various organs that we run some of these things with. The leadership has never sat down one day on its own to call for strike or a protest, but instead. We call organ meetings to do these reviews. So the question is that who is that? Who is protesting? So the same way you saw it in the media, the same way we are saying it. So you just come out. And, so it's something that we don't really know who is organizing. We don't really know who is protesting. But all we know, all we know is that the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is very clear on the issue of peaceful protest. And the Police Act also mandated the police that when there is a protest, you should ensure that um, there is law and order. You should ensure that those that are protesting are also protected. And that is why uh, we are also, you know, as rem reminding them of that provision in the Police Act and the provision in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria uh, that those provisions in the law should be respected. So, uh, simply sita, we don't know who is protesting, nobody has contacted us, maybe if they have contacted us, we would have called our organ meetings for us to review. So as of today, there is clearly nothing to discuss, there is clearly nothing to review. Because the protest that is being called was not called by labor. It was called by some amorphous, anonymous forces. And that is one of the danger, because I have been a protester of my life. And that is where we spend most of our life protesting, standing, resisting. I mean, standing up against fundamental issues in the country. But a protest needs two things. It has to have a purpose, of course, which is hunger, which is reasonable. People can protest that. But it has to have leadership. Leadership that can drive the process, that can claim to drive the issues. And also that when demands need to be made, are made, and then negotiation can be made on the table, but you have no leader, and that is a danger. Protests can lead you to Kenya, protests can lead you to Sudan. If it leads to Kenya, where it forces government to make fundamental reforms, that is fine. But it leads to Sudan. That is chaos, that is anarchy, that is destruction. And as such, any protest that will be credible and that will deliver on the reasons which it is, it needs visible leaders who will own up to it.